I'm Chris Duarte. I'm Ian Dexter. Welcome to Around the Mountain in about 90 seconds. The EOU football team nearly came away with a big upset of number seven Southern Oregon on Saturday, but fell just short in a 31 to 27 loss. Wide receiver Brennan Kelly had a career night, however, with personal bests of nine catches and 206 yards receiving, along with a 66 yard touchdown catch. The Mountaineers next head out, head out to Dillon, Montana for a game at Montana Western with kickoff at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. Sophomore outside hander Megan Bunn was named CCC Red Lion Attacker of the Week after she led EOU to road victories over Warner Pacific and Multnomah. At Warner Pack on Friday, the number 14 Mounties were one point away from being swept, but battled back to earn a tough five-set victory. They then followed up with a sweep of Multnomah on Saturday. EOU brings its sixth match winning streak home against Northwest and Evergreen for Dig Pink Breast Cancer Awareness Weekend. Men's soccer got a sweep over the weekend with wins over Multnomah and Warner Pacific. The men defeated MU 1-0 and against Warner Pack broke out with four goals. Senior Julian Wells recorded the third hat trick in program history and now leads the team with six goals. Women's soccer also picked up a 2-0 win over Warner. Goals coming from Kaylin Copel and Taylor Boyer. The ladies are currently on a seven game winning streak and atop the CCC conference as both soccer teams are on the road versus TFI and Rocky Mountain. In cross country, the men's and women's teams competed at the Lewis Clark State Invitational in Lewiston, Idaho. Senior Rachel Rowley set a personal record finishing in 10th place with a time of 1752.8 to lead ELU to a 5th place finish against Division I opponents. The men placed 4th overall with Nick Mask placing 45th and Lane Edwards taking 47th overall. Just a quick reminder, men's basketball starts this Friday in Kirkland against Fraser Valley and women's wrestling heads to Umpqua for their first duel. The men's wrestling team will also be competing tonight at 7 p.m. in their wrestle-off at Quinn Coliseum. And the women's basketball team hosts an annual alumni game this Saturday night after volleyball. Well, that's a wrap for us here at EOU Athletic. Join us next week for another 90-second edition of Around the Mountain. For more information, visit us at eousports.com.